Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are doing previous year questions and through these questions we are trying to revise important topics. This question was asked in UPSC prelims. If you want to solve all previous year questions since they are repeated also and asked in various other exams, I have made a compilation. Link will be in the description. You can buy from there. Question is assertion reasoning. Assertion says according to the Wavell plan, the number of Hindu and Muslim members in the executive council were to be equal. Reason. Wevel thought that this arrangement would have avoided the partition of India. Wevel plan is an important topic in modern history. Let us try to understand in detail. The Second World War ended but it had caused many socio-economic problems in the British Empire and there was so much pressure on it from all of its allies as well as there was too many things going on in India. The Quit India Movement, the Congress resignation. So there was a stalemate in India. So Lord Wevel who succeeded Lord Lilithgow was sent to break this statement and make a proposal which would be agreeable to both Muslim League and Congress. Lord Wevel then travelled to England and from there he broadcasted his plan. What was the proposal? First that the executive council would be immediately reconstituted and all members would be Indians except for Viceroy and Commander-in-Chief. There would be equal representation of high caste Hindus and Muslims. The foreign affairs would also be transferred to an Indian but Defense affairs will be in British hands until power was ultimately transferred to Indians. The Viceroy will convene a meeting of Indian politicians including the leaders of Congress and the Muslim League at which they would nominate members of the new council. Viceroy will ask for name of the members from all the parties for the Viceroy's executive council. If this plan were to be approved for the central government, then similar councils of the local political leaders would be formed in all the provinces. It would be based on 1935 Act. And none of the changes suggested would any way prejudice or prejudge the essential form of the future permanent constitution of India. However, the veto power would remain with the Governor General or Viceroy, but it would not be used, but it would be used minimally. To discuss these proposals with Indian leaders, we will summon them to a conference in Shimla on June 25, 1945, which was known as Shimla Conference. The conference was a failure because the League and the Congress could not settle their differences. The Muslim League wanted the sole representation of Muslims. They did not want Congress to nominate any Muslim members. Congress did not agree to this demand. Muslim League also wanted veto power for itself so that any constitutional proposal could be vetoed if it did not like it. This demand was also not accepted by the Congress. Finally, Jinnya refused to give the names to the Council and thus the Wavell plan was dissolved, giving a virtual veto to the Muslim League, strengthening their position on the issue of representation of Muslims. After this, the war ended and a new Labour government was elected in Britain. This new government was intent on giving independence to India without much delay and therefore sent the cabinet mission with that purpose. The failure of the Wavell plan and the Shimla conference marked the end for a united India. All steps taken to prevent partition had been met with failure, meaning that it was inevitable. So, we will thought that this would have avoided the partition of India. If we consider it as an effort to avoid partition, then the statement R is also correct. Both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. But most of the websites mention answer as C. A is true, but R is false. What should be the answer? Post your answer and the reason behind it in the comment section. See you in the next video. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.